Once upon a time, in the ancient world of Greece where gods and mortals mingled like whispers in the wind, there was a curious tale that stirred the hearts of those who heard it. It begins with a girl, not just any girl, but a creation of the gods themselves, fashioned from clay and given life by the divine hands of Hephaestus. This girl, named Pandora, was a marvel to behold, her beauty radiant as the sun and her curiosity as boundless as the sea that lapped against the shores of her homeland. Now, Pandora was no ordinary maiden. She was a gift from Zeus, the mighty ruler of Mount Olympus, to Epimetheus, brother of Prometheus who had dared to defy the gods for the sake of humanity. Epimetheus welcomed Pandora into his home, enchanted by her grace and charm. Yet, little did he know that her arrival would unleash a chain of events that would echo through the ages. Zeus, in his infinite wisdom or perhaps mischief, had presented Pandora with a mysterious jar, a vessel sealed tight with a lid that whispered secrets to those who dared to listen. Entranced by the jar's enigmatic allure, Pandora found herself unable to resist its call. Day by day, its presence gnawed at her thoughts like an itch she could not scratch. What secrets lay hidden within? What mysteries awaited her touch? Despite warnings from Prometheus, who foresaw the consequences of meddling with the divine, Pandora's curiosity grew until it consumed her every waking moment. She could no longer resist the urge to uncover the truth that lay hidden beneath the jar's lid. With trembling hands and a heart heavy with anticipation, she dared to defy the gods themselves. As Pandora lifted the lid, a sudden hush fell over the world. It was as if time itself held its breath, waiting to witness the outcome of her folly. Slowly, like tendrils of smoke drifting lazily into the sky, a host of creatures emerged from the depths of the jar. These were not the creatures of nightmares or monsters of legend, but something far more insidious, woes and sorrows that had been carefully tucked away by the gods to spare humanity from their burden. First came Pain, a gnarled figure whose touch brought tears to the eyes and ache to the hearts of mortals. Then followed Sickness, whose shadow fell like a pall over the land, sapping the strength and vitality of those it touched. Misery came next, its wail echoing through the air like a mournful dirge that spoke of loss and longing. One by one, they emerged, envy, hatred, fear, all unleashed upon a world that had known only peace and prosperity. But amidst the darkness that spilled forth from the jar, there was one last thing that remained, a glimmer of hope. For as Pandora watched in horror at the havoc she had unwittingly wrought, a small figure fluttered from the jar's depths. Hope, fragile and delicate as a butterfly's wing, danced before her eyes. It was a beacon of light amidst the encroaching shadows, a reminder that even in the darkest of times, there is always a flicker of hope to guide the way. In that moment, Pandora understood the gravity of her actions. She had unleashed suffering upon the world, yet she had also released something precious, a reminder that hope endures, even in the face of despair. With tears streaming down her cheeks, she hastily closed the jar, sealing the remaining spirits inside. But it was too late. The damage had been done, and humanity would forever bear the scars of Pandora's curiosity. And so, the tale of Pandora's box became a cautionary legend, a reminder of the dangers of curiosity unchecked and the consequences of meddling with forces beyond moral comprehension. It is a story that continues to resonate with audiences today, for it speaks to the timeless struggle between light and darkness, hope and despair. And as long as there are hearts that beat with curiosity and minds that yearn for knowledge, the story of Pandora and her fateful jar will continue to stir emotions and inspire contemplation for generations to come. In the heart of ancient Greece, where legends danced like shadows upon the walls of time, there lived a myth that transcended mere storytelling. It wove itself into the very fabric of existence. This myth was not just a tale of gods and mortals, but a reflection of the human condition, a mirror that dared to gaze into the depths of our fears and aspirations. At its core lay the story of Pandora's Box, a tale that began with curiosity and ended with consequences that echoed through eternity. But why does this myth, among countless others, hold such sway over the hearts and minds of those who hear it? To understand its significance, we must first peer into the realm of Greek mythology, where gods ruled from their lofty abode atop Mount Olympus, and mortals toiled beneath the watchful gaze of capricious deities.
Among these gods was Zeus, mighty ruler of the heavens, whose whims shaped the destinies of both gods and mortals alike. It was Zeus who, in a moment of divine caprice or perhaps divine wisdom, fashioned Pandora from earth and water, a maiden of unparalleled beauty and curiosity. She was a gift, a blessing to Epimetheus, brother of the wily Prometheus who had dared to steal fire from the gods for the sake of humanity. Little did Epimetheus know that Pandora would bring with her a gift of her own, a jar, sealed tight with a lid that concealed mysteries beyond mortal comprehension. This jar, entrusted to Pandora by Zeus himself, held within it the sum of all human ills and misfortunes. It was a repository of suffering, of sorrows and woes carefully crafted by the hands of the gods to test the resolve of mortals. Yet, it was also a testament to the complexities of human nature, to our insatiable curiosity and our irrepressible desire for knowledge. When Pandora, unable to resist the lure of the jar's secrets, lifted its lid, she unwittingly unleashed a torrent of suffering upon the world. From its depths poured forth pain and sickness, envy and hatred, fear and despair, all the trials and tribulations that plague humanity to this day. It was a cataclysm of emotions and hardships, a storm that swept across the land and left in its wake a world forever changed. But amidst the darkness that spilled forth from Pandora's jar, there was one last spirit that remained, a spirit that would forever alter the course of human history. It was hope, fragile and delicate as a whisper, yet as enduring as the light that pierces the darkest night. Hope, the last gift of the gods to humanity, a reminder that even in the face of adversity, there is always a flicker of light to guide us forward. The significance of Pandora's box lies not only in its portrayal of the human struggle against adversity, but also in its exploration of themes that resonate deeply with the human experience. It speaks to our capacity for both good and evil, our innate curiosity and the consequences that often accompany it. It is a cautionary tale, a reminder that every action has its consequences and that even the gods themselves are not immune to folly. Throughout history, artists and thinkers have been drawn to the myth of Pandora's box, finding in its narrative a reflection of their own struggles and triumphs. From ancient poets who sang of gods and heroes to modern scholars who dissect its meaning, Pandora's box has endured as a symbol of the human condition, a testament to our resilience in the face of adversity and our eternal quest for meaning and understanding. And so, as we gaze upon the myth of Pandora's box, we are reminded of our own journey through life, the trials and tribulations we face, the choices we make, and the hope that guides us through the darkest of times. For in the end, it is our ability to confront our fears and embrace our hopes that defines us as human beings, and that gives meaning to the timeless tale of Pandora and her fateful jar. In the ancient tapestry of myths that adorn the annals of human history, few stories weave as intricate a pattern as that of Pandora's box. Its origins, like many tales of old, are shrouded in the mists of time and vary with each retelling, echoing through the ages in the voices of poets and scholars alike. One of the earliest threads in this rich tapestry can be traced back to Hesiod, a poet of ancient Greece whose words were whispered in the halls of kings and peasants alike. In his epic poem Works and Days, Hesiod recounts the creation of Pandora, a maiden fashioned by the gods themselves as a punishment for the sins of Prometheus, who had dared to steal fire from the heavens. According to Hesiod, Zeus, the king of the gods, sought to humble humanity by creating Pandora, a woman of unparalleled beauty and charm, yet imbued with a spirit of curiosity that rivaled that of any mortal. She was a gift, Zeus claimed, to Epimetheus, brother of Prometheus, to whom she was wed. But Pandora brought with her more than just her beauty and grace. She also carried a jar, a vessel sealed tight with a lid that whispered secrets to those who dared to listen. This jar, Hesiod tells us, contained all the ills and misfortunes that would plague humanity for eternity. It was a repository of sorrows and woes, carefully crafted by the hands of the gods to test the resolve of mortals and punish them for their hubris. When Pandora, unable to resist the lure of the jar's secrets, lifted its lid, she unleashed a torrent of suffering upon the world. From its depths poured forth pain and sickness, envy and hatred, fear and despair, all the trials and tribulations that would haunt humanity until the end of days. 
It was a cataclysm of emotions and hardships, a storm that swept across the land and left in its wake a world forever changed. Yet, amidst the darkness that spilled forth from Pandora's jar, there was one last spirit that remained, a spirit that would forever alter the course of human history. It was hope, fragile and delicate as a whisper, yet as enduring as the light that pierces the darkest night. Hope, the last gift of the gods to humanity, a reminder that even in the face of adversity, there is always a flicker of light to guide us forward. But Hesiod's version is not the only thread in the tapestry of Pandora's myth. Across the seas in ancient Rome, the poet Ovid spun a different tale, one that echoed with the melodious cadence of Latin and resonated with its own unique insights. In Ovid's Metamorphoses, Pandora's story unfolds with a different hue, painted by the brushstrokes of Roman mythmaking. Here, too, Pandora is created by the gods as a punishment for Prometheus's theft of fire. But Ovid adds a twist, a twist that lends depth to Pandora's character and complexity to her tale. According to Ovid, Zeus commands Vulcan, the smith of the gods, to fashion Pandora from earth and water, a woman of breathtaking beauty and charm. She is adorned with gifts from all the gods of Olympus, grace from Venus, persuasion from Mercury, curiosity from Apollo, and more. Yet, Ovid tells us, there is more to Pandora than meets the eye. When Vulcan presents Pandora to Epimetheus, brother of Prometheus, he is captivated by her beauty and grace. But Prometheus warns him not to accept any gifts from the gods, knowing the consequences that may follow. Epimetheus, however, is unable to resist Pandora's allure and welcomes her into his home. Yet, Pandora's arrival brings with it a jar, a vessel sealed tight with a lid that whispers secrets to those who dare to listen. This jar, Ovid tells us, contains not just sorrows and woes, but also the spirit of hope, a spirit that is released into the world along with the ills that Pandora unleashes. When Pandora lifts the lid of the jar, she unleashes a torrent of suffering upon the world. From its depths pour forth pain and sickness, envy and hatred, fear and despair, all the trials and tribulations that would plague humanity until the end of days. It is a cataclysm of emotions and hardships, a storm that sweeps across the land and leaves in its wake a world forever changed. But amidst the darkness that spills forth from Pandora's jar, there is one last spirit that remains, a spirit that forever alters the course of human history. It is hope, fragile and delicate as a whisper, yet as enduring as the light that pierces the darkest night. Hope the last gift of the gods to humanity, a reminder that even in the face of adversity, there is always a flicker of light to guide us forward. These are but two threads in the rich tapestry of Pandora's myth, a myth that has been woven and rewoven by countless storytellers throughout the ages. Each retelling adds new colors and textures to the tale, revealing different facets of Pandora's character and the themes that resonate within her story. From the shores of ancient Greece to the hills of Rome, from the pens of poets to the mouths of storytellers, Pandora's myth endures as a testament to the enduring power of storytelling itself. It is a tale that speaks to the complexities of human nature, the consequences of our actions, and the eternal quest for understanding and meaning. And so, as we gaze upon the myth of Pandora's box, we are reminded of our own journey through life, the trials and tribulations we face, the choices we make, and the hope that guides us through the darkest of times. For in the end, it is our ability to confront our fears and embrace our hopes that defines us as human beings, and that gives meaning to the timeless tale of Pandora and her fateful jar. In the sun-kissed lands of ancient Greece, where the gods roamed the heavens and mortals sought their favor, myths were more than mere tales, they were the very fabric that bound together the tapestry of life. Among these myths, none captured the essence of the human condition quite like the story of Pandora's box, a tale that resonated with the hopes and fears of an entire civilization. In the cultural tapestry of ancient Greece, myths served not only as entertainment but also as explanations for the mysteries of the world and the complexities of human existence. There were the stories that parents whispered to their children by firelight, the legends that poets sang in grand amphitheaters, and the parables that philosophers pondered in the quiet corners of temples. Central to this rich tradition was the myth of Pandora, a tale that began with curiosity and ended with consequences that reverberated through generations. 
At its heart lay a creation story, a story of how the first woman, Pandora, was crafted by the gods themselves as both a blessing and a curse to humanity. According to the ancient Greeks, Pandora was a woman of unparalleled beauty and charm, created by Hephaestus, the divine blacksmith, and bestowed with gifts from all the gods of Olympus. She was a marvel to behold, a beacon of grace and elegance that captivated the hearts of all who beheld her. Yet, Pandora was more than just a beautiful maiden, she was also imbued with a spirit of curiosity that rivaled that of any mortal. Zeus, the king of the gods, saw in Pandora an opportunity to test the resolve of humanity, a chance to humble mortals who dared to defy the divine order. And so, he presented Pandora as a bride to Epimetheus, brother of the cunning Prometheus who had stolen fire from the heavens for the sake of humanity. Little did Epimetheus know that Pandora would bring with her a gift of her own, a jar, sealed tight with a lid that whispered secrets to those who dared to listen. In the cultural context of ancient Greece, myths like that of Pandora's box served as allegories for the complexities of human nature and the capriciousness of the gods. There were cautionary tales, warning mortals of the consequences of hubris and the dangers of unchecked curiosity. Through these myths, the ancient Greeks sought to make sense of the world around them, to understand the forces that shaped their lives and the mysteries that lay beyond their understanding. Pandora's box, in particular, spoke to the dual nature of existence, the balance between good and evil, light and darkness, hope and despair. When Pandora, unable to resist the allure of the jar's secrets, lifted its lid, she unwittingly unleashed a torrent of suffering upon the world. From its depths poured forth pain and sickness, envy and hatred, fear and despair, all the trials and tribulations that would plague humanity until the end of days. But amidst the darkness that spilled forth from Pandora's jar, there was one last spirit that remained, a spirit that would forever alter the course of human history. It was hope, fragile and delicate as a whisper, yet as enduring as the light that pierces the darkest night. Hope the last gift of the gods to humanity, a reminder that even in the face of adversity, there is always a flicker of light to guide us forward. The myth of Pandora's box thus served as a reflection of the human experience, a mirror that dared to gaze into the depths of our fears and aspirations. It was a story that resonated with audiences then as it does now, for it spoke to the timeless struggle between light and darkness, hope and despair. And as long as there are hearts that beat with curiosity and minds that yearn for understanding, the myth of Pandora's box will continue to stir emotions and inspire contemplation for generations to come. In the tapestry of ancient Greece, myths like that of Pandora's box were not just stories, they were a testament to the enduring power of storytelling itself. They were the threads that bound together the fabric of a civilization, weaving together history and legend, philosophy and morality. And as we look upon these myths today, we are reminded of their timeless relevance and their ability to illuminate the human condition in all its complexity and beauty. In the days of old, when gods and mortals walked the earth as companions and adversaries alike, there lived a maiden whose name would echo through eternity, Pandora. She was not born of mortal flesh and blood, but fashioned by the hands of Hephaestus, the divine blacksmith, and bestowed upon humanity as both a blessing and a curse. Pandora was a vision of beauty, a marvel of grace whose presence captivated the hearts of all who beheld her. Her eyes sparkled like the stars, her laughter danced upon the breeze, and her spirit radiated a warmth that could melt even the coldest of hearts. But beneath her beauty lay a curiosity that rivaled that of any mortal, a curiosity that would set in motion a chain of events that would change the course of history. It began with a gift, a gift from Zeus, king of the gods, to Epimetheus, brother of the cunning Prometheus who had defied the gods for the sake of humanity. This gift was Pandora, a woman of unparalleled beauty and charm, created to be the bride of Epimetheus and companion to humanity. But Zeus, in his infinite wisdom or perhaps his capriciousness, had another gift in store, a jar, sealed tight with a lid that whispered secrets to those who dared to listen. This jar, Zeus claimed, contained all the ills and misfortunes that would plague humanity for eternity. It was a vessel of sorrows and woes, carefully crafted by the hands of the gods to test the resolve of mortals and punish them for their hubris. And it was this jar that would become both Pandora's burden and her undoing. 
From the moment Pandora laid eyes upon the jar, its presence gnawed at her thoughts like an itch she could not scratch. What secrets lay hidden within? What mysteries awaited her touch? Day by day, the jar's allure grew stronger until it consumed her every waking moment. She could no longer resist the urge to uncover the truth that lay hidden beneath its lid. One fateful day, unable to bear the weight of her curiosity any longer, Pandora approached the jar with trembling hands and a heart heavy with anticipation. She knew not what lay in store for her, but she could not turn back now. With a hesitating breath, she lifted the lid. In that moment, a sudden hush fell over the world. It was as if time itself held its breath, waiting to witness the outcome of Pandora's folly. Slowly, like tendrils of smoke drifting lazily into the sky, a host of creatures emerged from the depths of the jar. These were not the creatures of nightmares or monsters of legend, but something far more insidious, woes and sorrows that had been carefully tucked away by the gods to spare humanity from their burden. First came Pain, a gnarled figure whose touch brought tears to the eyes and ache to the hearts of mortals. Then followed Sickness, whose shadow fell like a pall over the land, sapping the strength and vitality of those it touched. Misery came next, its wail echoing through the air like a mournful dirge that spoke of loss and longing. One by one, they emerged, envy, hatred, fear, all unleashed upon a world that had known only peace and prosperity. But amidst the darkness that spilled forth from the jar, there was one last thing that remained, a glimmer of hope. For as Pandora watched in horror at the havoc she had unwittingly wrought, a small figure fluttered from the jar's depths. Hope, fragile and delicate as a butterfly's wing, danced before her eyes. It was a beacon of light amidst the encroaching shadows, a reminder that even in the darkest of times, there is always a flicker of hope to guide the way. In that moment, Pandora understood the gravity of her actions. She had unleashed suffering upon the world, yet she had also released something precious, a reminder that hope endures, even in the face of despair. With tears streaming down her cheeks, she hastily closed the jar, sealing the remaining spirits inside. But it was too late. The damage had been done, and humanity would forever bear the scars of Pandora's curiosity. And so, the myth of Pandora's box became more than just a cautionary tale, it became a reflection of the human experience, a mirror that dared to gaze into the depths of our fears and aspirations. It spoke to our capacity for both good and evil, our innate curiosity and the consequences that often accompany it. It was a story that resonated with audiences then as it does now, for it spoke to the timeless struggle between light and darkness, hope and despair. And as long as there are hearts that beat with curiosity and minds that yearn for knowledge, the story of Pandora and her fateful jar will continue to stir emotions and inspire contemplation for generations to come. For in the end, it is our ability to confront our fears and embrace our hopes that defines us as human beings, and that gives meaning to the timeless tale of Pandora and her fateful jar. In the ancient annals of myth and legend, there exists a tale that transcends time, a tale of a maiden named Pandora and a jar that held within it the sum of all human ills and sorrows. This story, woven into the fabric of ancient Greece, speaks not just of gods and mortals, but of the trials and tribulations that shape the human experience. According to myth, Pandora was not merely a woman of breathtaking beauty and charm, but a creation of the gods themselves, a gift from Zeus, king of the gods, to Epimetheus, brother of the wily Prometheus. Yet, Pandora brought with her more than just her radiant presence. She also carried a jar, sealed tight with a lid that whispered secrets to those who dared to listen. This jar, Zeus declared, contained all the ills and misfortunes that would plague humanity for eternity. It was a vessel of sorrows and woes, carefully crafted by the hands of the gods to test the resolve of mortals and punish them for their hubris. But what exactly were these evils or ills that Pandora unwittingly released upon the world? First among them was pain, a specter whose touch brought anguish and suffering to all who encountered it. Pain was not merely physical, but emotional and spiritual as well, a burden that weighed heavily upon the hearts of mortals and left in its wake scars that could never fully heal. Next came sickness, a shadow that crept stealthily through the land, laying low even the strongest and most resilient among humanity. 
The sickness knew no boundaries, affecting rich and poor alike, and casting a pall of fear and uncertainty over the world. Following close behind was misery, a mournful presence whose wail echoed through the air like a dirge of despair. Misery whispered of loss and longing, of dreams unfulfilled and hearts broken, a reminder of the fragility of human happiness. Envy emerged next, a green-eyed specter whose jealousy knew no bounds. Envy whispered poison into the ears of mortals, stirring discontent and sowing discord among friends and neighbors alike. Hatred followed, a dark force that festered in the hearts of mortals, consuming them with its venomous grip. Hatred knew no mercy, fueling wars and conflicts that tore asunder families and nations. Fear came next, a specter whose presence chilled the hearts of mortals and held them captive in its icy grasp. Fear whispered of danger lurking in the shadows, of the unknown and the uncertain that lay beyond mortal comprehension. Greed emerged as well, a voracious hunger that could never be sated, driving mortals to pursue wealth and power at any cost. Greed blinded them to the needs of others, fostering a cycle of selfishness and exploitation. And yet, amidst the darkness that spilled forth from Pandora's jar, there was one last spirit that remained, a spirit that would forever alter the course of human history. It was hope, fragile and delicate as a butterfly's wing, yet as enduring as the light that pierces the darkest night. Hope, the last gift of the gods to humanity, a reminder that even in the face of adversity, there is always a flicker of light to guide us forward. The interpretations of these evils or ills vary across cultures and epochs, reflecting the diverse perspectives and experiences of humanity. Some see them as metaphors for the trials and tribulations of life, physical pain, illness, emotional suffering, and the strife that arises from human frailty and conflict. Others view them as symbols of moral and spiritual shortcomings, envy, hatred, greed, and fear that reside within the hearts of mortals and threaten to corrupt their souls. Regardless of interpretation, the myth of Pandora's box continues to resonate with audiences today, for it speaks to the timeless struggle between light and darkness, hope and despair. It is a story that challenges us to confront our own vulnerabilities and shortcomings, and to recognize the resilience of the human spirit in the face of adversity. And so, as we reflect upon the myth of Pandora's box, we are reminded of the complexities of the human condition, the joys and sorrows, the triumphs and tribulations that shape our journey through life. For in the end, it is our ability to confront our fears and embrace our hopes that defines us as human beings, and that gives meaning to the timeless tale of Pandora and her fateful jar. In the realm of ancient myths and timeless tales, there exists one story that has captured the imagination of countless generations, the myth of Pandora's box. This tale, etched into the annals of Greek mythology, speaks not only of gods and mortals, but also of the mysteries and complexities that define the human experience. At its heart lies a box, or jar, as some interpretations suggest, that, when opened, unleashed a torrent of sorrows and ills upon the world. Yet, beyond the traditional interpretations of hope and despair, there are deeper layers to explore, interpretations that speak to the virtues and vices that dwell within us all. One such interpretation delves into the notion of curiosity itself, a trait embodied by Pandora herself. In some retellings of the myth, curiosity is not just the catalyst for Pandora's actions, but also a force that drives human endeavor and exploration. It is curiosity that compels us to seek knowledge and understanding, to venture into the unknown despite the risks and uncertainties that may lie ahead. Just as Pandora could not resist the urge to open the jar, so too are we drawn to uncover the truths that lie hidden beneath the surface of existence. But alongside curiosity, there are also virtues that emerge from Pandora's box, virtues that serve as a counterbalance to the ills that were unleashed. Among these virtues is courage, a steadfast resolve that enables us to confront our fears and persevere in the face of adversity. It is courage that allows us to stand tall in the darkest of times, to face the challenges that life presents us with, and to emerge stronger and wiser on the other side. Another virtue that emerges is compassion, a gentle warmth that binds us together in times of need and adversity. It is compassion that inspires acts of kindness and empathy that encourages us to reach out to others in their moments of sorrow and suffering. 
Just as the ills of Pandora's box sought to divide humanity, so too does compassion unite us and remind us of our shared humanity. Yet, beyond virtues and vices, there is also a deeper, more introspective interpretation of Pandora's box, one that explores the inner landscape of the human soul. In this interpretation, the box represents not just external forces, but also the internal struggles and conflicts that define our existence. It is a reflection of our own capacity for good and evil, for hope and despair, and for the myriad emotions that shape our perceptions and actions. Within the depths of Pandora's box, one might find the echoes of regret, a haunting reminder of past mistakes and missed opportunities. Regret whispers in the quiet moments of reflection, urging us to learn from our experiences and strive for personal growth and redemption. Alongside regret lies resilience, a quiet strength that enables us to endure hardships and setbacks with grace and determination. It is resilience that empowers us to bounce back from adversity, to learn from our failures, and to emerge stronger and more resilient than before. And then there is forgiveness, a healing balm that soothes the wounds of the past and fosters reconciliation and understanding. It is forgiveness that allows us to release the burdens of anger and resentment, to heal relationships and forge new beginnings. In exploring these interpretations, we come to understand that Pandora's box is not just a cautionary tale of human frailty and folly, but also a testament to the resilience and virtues that define our humanity. It challenges us to confront our own shadows and embrace the light that resides within us all. For just as Pandora's curiosity led to both suffering and hope, so too does our own journey through life bring us face to face with the complexities of our existence. And so, as we reflect upon the myth of Pandora's box, we are reminded of the intricate tapestry of virtues and vices that shape our lives, the courage to face our fears, the compassion to comfort others, the resilience to endure hardships, and the forgiveness to heal wounds. For in the end, it is our ability to navigate these complexities with grace and humility that defines us as human beings and that gives meaning to the timeless tale of Pandora and her fateful box. In the vast tapestry of human storytelling, myths serve as mirrors reflecting our deepest fears, aspirations, and questions about existence. Among these, the myth of Pandora's box stands as a timeless allegory of curiosity and its consequences, a theme echoed across cultures and civilizations through various myths and legends. In the Judeo-Christian tradition, the story of Adam and Eve in the Garden of Eden bears striking similarities to the myth of Pandora's box. Like Pandora, Eve is tempted by curiosity and desire for knowledge when she partakes of the forbidden fruit from the tree of knowledge of good and evil. This act, spurred by a serpent's cunning persuasion, leads to the expulsion of Adam and Eve from paradise and introduces suffering and toil into the world. Much like Pandora's jar, the fruit's consumption marks a pivotal moment where innocence is lost and humanity gains knowledge at the cost of perpetual struggle and hardship. Similarly, in Mesopotamian mythology, the tale of Gilgamesh and the cedar forest explores themes of curiosity and its consequences. Gilgamesh, a legendary king of Uruk, embarks on a quest to fill the sacred cedar forest, driven by his desire for fame and immortality. His journey, guided by curiosity and ambition, unleashes the wrath of the gods, who send the bull of heaven to wreak havoc upon the land. This divine retribution serves as a reminder of the limits of mortal ambition and the consequences of defying divine order, a cautionary tale akin to Pandora's misstep in opening the jar. Across these cultural narratives, the motif of curiosity leading to dire consequences underscores a fundamental aspect of human nature, an insatiable thirst for knowledge and understanding, often accompanied by unforeseen repercussions. Whether through Pandora's opening of the jar, Eve's eating of the forbidden fruit, or Gilgamesh's felling of the cedar forest, these myths explore the tension between the pursuit of knowledge and the preservation of order and harmony. In the Judeo-Christian tradition, the consequences of Adam and Eve's disobedience resonate through the ages, shaping theological perspectives on sin, redemption, and the human condition. Their act of curiosity marks a rupture in the harmonious relationship between humanity and the divine, ushering in a world where suffering and mortality become intrinsic to human existence. 
Likewise, in Mesopotamian mythology, Gilgamesh's quest for glory and immortality serves as a cautionary tale about the limits of mortal ambition and the inevitability of divine retribution. His journey into the cedar forest unleashes forces beyond his control, challenging his perceptions of power and mortality and highlighting the fragile balance between human desires and cosmic order. Across these narratives, the theme of curiosity and its consequences resonates with universal truths about human nature, the impulse to seek knowledge and understanding, the consequences of defying authority or divine will, and the enduring struggle to reconcile ambition with ethical considerations. These myths invite reflection on the complexities of human existence and the perennial quest for meaning and purpose in a world fraught with uncertainty and moral ambiguity. In the myth of Pandora's box, curiosity is portrayed as both a blessing and a curse, a catalyst for human growth and understanding, yet also a source of suffering and adversity. Pandora's fateful decision to open the jar unleashes a Pandora's box of ills and sorrows upon the world, forever altering the course of human history and challenging humanity's capacity for resilience and hope. Similarly, in the biblical story of Adam and Eve, curiosity leads to a pivotal moment of disobedience and divine judgment, shaping theological interpretations of sin, redemption, and the human condition. The consequences of their actions reverberate through generations, symbolizing humanity's inherent vulnerability to temptation and the complexities of moral agency. In Mesopotamian mythology, Gilgamesh's quest for glory and immortality unfolds against the backdrop of divine retribution and existential reflection. His journey into the cedar forest embodies themes of ambition, mortality, and the pursuit of meaning, inviting contemplation on the limits of human knowledge and the consequences of challenging cosmic order. Across these cultural narratives, the motif of curiosity and its consequences serves as a powerful allegory for the human experience, a reminder of the complexities of moral decision-making, the pursuit of knowledge, and the enduring quest for meaning and purpose. These myths challenge us to confront our own vulnerabilities and aspirations, inviting reflection on the ethical dilemmas and existential uncertainties that shape our journey through life. Ultimately, whether through Pandora's box, Adam and Eve's forbidden fruit, or Gilgamesh's quest for immortality, these myths offer timeless insights into the human condition and the perennial quest for understanding and meaning. They remind us of the enduring power of storytelling to illuminate universal truths and provoke contemplation on the complexities of human existence. In the timeless expanse of myth and legend, there exists a tale that has woven its threads through the tapestry of human history, the myth of Pandora's box. This ancient story, rooted in Greek mythology, has captivated the hearts and minds of countless generations, evolving and adapting across centuries to reflect the ever-changing beliefs and values of humanity. Its interpretation throughout history serves as a testament to its enduring relevance and profound impact on our understanding of the human condition. From its origins in ancient Greece to its interpretations in contemporary culture, the myth of Pandora's box has undergone a metamorphosis, each iteration offering new insights into the complexities of human nature and the consequences of our actions. At its core, the myth tells of Pandora, the first woman created by the gods, who was gifted a jar, often referred to as a box in later retellings, containing all the ills and misfortunes that would plague humanity. In its earliest forms, the myth served as a cautionary tale about the dangers of curiosity and disobedience to divine will. Pandora's act of opening the jar, spurred by her insatiable curiosity, unleashed a torrent of sorrows upon the world, forever altering the fate of mortals. This interpretation reflected the ancient Greek belief in the capricious nature of the gods and the consequences of defying their authority, an allegory for the precarious balance between human desires and divine order. As the myth spread beyond ancient Greece, it found resonance in Roman culture through the works of poets like Ovid, who recounted the story of Pandora in his epic poem Metamorphoses. Ovid's version introduced nuances and embellishments, portraying Pandora as a tragic figure caught between her role as a bearer of divine gifts and the unwitting catalyst for human suffering. His interpretation highlighted themes of fate and inevitability, suggesting that Pandora's actions were predetermined by the gods, a narrative that resonated with Roman audiences grappling with notions of fate and free will. In the Christian era, 
the myth of Pandora's box underwent further transformation, intertwining with biblical narratives and theological interpretations of sin and redemption. Scholars and theologians drew parallels between Pandora's curiosity and Eve's temptation in the Garden of Eden, both stories emphasizing the consequences of disobedience and the loss of innocence. These interpretations underscored broader theological themes of human fallibility and the need for divine grace, a testament to the myth's adaptability across cultural and religious boundaries. During the Renaissance and Enlightenment periods, the myth of Pandora's box experienced a revival as scholars and philosophers re-examined classical texts and ancient myths through a lens of reason and humanism. Figures like Erasmus of Rotterdam and Johann Wolfgang von Goethe explored the symbolic significance of Pandora's jar, interpreting it as a metaphor for the human psyche and the duality of human nature. Their interpretations emphasized themes of moral ambiguity and the inherent tensions between reason and passion, a reflection of the intellectual ferment of their times. In the 20th and 21st centuries, the myth of Pandora's box continued to resonate in literature, art, and popular culture, evolving yet again to reflect contemporary anxieties and aspirations. Writers and artists reimagined Pandora as a feminist icon challenging traditional gender roles, while psychologists and psychoanalysts explored the myth's relevance to concepts of trauma, repression, and the unconscious mind. Films, television shows, and video games incorporated elements of the myth, offering new interpretations that spoke to modern audiences' concerns about power, responsibility, and the consequences of unchecked ambition. Through its diverse interpretations and adaptations, the myth of Pandora's box has endured as a profound meditation on the human condition, a mirror reflecting our fears, desires, and aspirations across cultures and epochs. It invites us to confront our own vulnerabilities and shortcomings, while also celebrating our capacity for resilience, empathy, and hope. As we trace the myth's journey through history, we are reminded of its timeless relevance and its ability to provoke introspection and contemplation on the complexities of human existence. In the vast expanse of philosophical inquiry and human introspection, few myths have sparked as much contemplation and debate as the ancient tale of Pandora's box. This enduring story from Greek mythology resonates deeply with our understanding of the nature of evil, the essence of hope, and the complexities of human nature itself. At its heart, the myth of Pandora's box speaks to the fundamental dichotomy between light and darkness, good and evil. According to legend, Pandora, the first mortal woman created by the gods, was endowed with many gifts, including a mysterious jar that contained all manner of afflictions and sorrows. Entrusted not to open it, curiosity and fate led her to disobey, releasing these troubles into the world. Philosophically, this act raises profound questions about the nature of evil. Are these afflictions inherent to humanity, waiting to be unleashed by a single act of curiosity, or are they external forces that test our resilience and virtue? Scholars throughout history have wrestled with these questions, seeking to understand the origins and implications of suffering and wrongdoing. One perspective posits that the myth symbolizes the human condition itself, a struggle between our innate desires and the consequences of our actions. In this interpretation, Pandora's actions represent a universal tendency to seek knowledge and experience, even at the risk of inviting hardship and pain. This view invites reflection on the ethical dilemmas and moral responsibilities inherent in human existence, challenging us to consider the implications of our choices and their impact on ourselves and others. Furthermore, the myth offers insights into the nature of hope, a fragile yet resilient force that emerges from the depths of Pandora's jar. In the face of overwhelming adversity and despair, hope remains as a beacon of light, guiding humanity through the darkest of times. This philosophical perspective emphasizes the transformative power of hope, suggesting that it is not merely an abstract concept but a fundamental aspect of the human spirit, a source of strength and perseverance in the face of adversity. From a philosophical standpoint, the myth of Pandora's box also prompts contemplation on the complexities of human nature. Are we inherently prone to curiosity and disobedience, or do these qualities reflect deeper truths about our capacity for growth and self-discovery? 
Philosophers such as Friedrich Nietzsche and Jean-Paul Sartre have explored these themes, arguing that human nature is characterized by a constant tension between freedom and constraint, desire and consequence. Nietzsche, for instance, viewed curiosity and exploration as essential to human progress and self-overcoming, suggesting that embracing adversity and suffering can lead to personal growth and enlightenment. Similarly, Sartre emphasized the existentialist notion of radical freedom, asserting that individuals are ultimately responsible for their choices and their impact on the world around them. In this philosophical exploration, the myth of Pandora's box serves as a metaphor for the existential dilemmas and moral ambiguities that define the human experience. It challenges us to confront our own vulnerabilities and shortcomings, while also celebrating our capacity for resilience, empathy, and hope. As we reflect on the lessons of this ancient tale, we are reminded of the enduring relevance of mythology in shaping our understanding of ourselves and our place in the world. Ultimately, the myth of Pandora's box invites us to embrace the complexities of human nature, to acknowledge our capacity for both curiosity and caution, for hope and despair, and to recognize the profound impact of our choices on the world around us. In doing so, we come to appreciate the transformative power of storytelling and philosophical inquiry as they illuminate universal truths about the human condition and inspire us to strive for wisdom, compassion, and ethical responsibility in our lives in the labyrinthine corridors of human psychology, where the depths of the mind meet the complexities of myth and symbol. Few tales resonate as deeply as the ancient myth of Pandora's box. This timeless story, rooted in Greek mythology, serves not only as a cautionary tale of curiosity and consequence, but also as a rich tapestry upon which psychologists and theorists have woven intricate interpretations through the lenses of Jungian and Freudian perspectives. From a Jungian perspective, the myth of Pandora's box unfolds as a profound exploration of the collective unconscious, the shared reservoir of archetypes and symbols that shape human experience across cultures and generations. According to Carl Jung, archetypes are universal, innate patterns of thought and behavior that reside within the unconscious mind, influencing our perceptions, emotions, and actions. In this context, Pandora herself represents the archetype of the feminine, both nurturing and destructive, containing both life-giving potential and the capacity for chaos. The jar, or box, that Pandora opens symbolizes the unconscious itself, a repository of repressed desires, fears, and unresolved conflicts. Jung viewed the act of opening the jar as an archetypal journey into the depths of the psyche, a confrontation with the shadow self, the darker aspects of our personality that we often suppress or deny. The release of afflictions and sorrows from the jar mirrors the process of psychological individuation, the integration of unconscious material into conscious awareness, leading to greater self-understanding and wholeness. From a Freudian perspective, the myth of Pandora's box can be interpreted through the lens of psychoanalytic theory, particularly Freud's concepts of the unconscious mind, repression, and primal instincts. Sigmund Freud believed that human behavior is largely driven by unconscious motives and desires, often stemming from early childhood experiences and the dynamics of the ID, ego, and superego. In Freudian terms, Pandora's act of opening the jar can be seen as a manifestation of unconscious impulses breaking through into consciousness, an eruption of repressed desires and forbidden knowledge. The afflictions and sorrows that emerge from the jar symbolize the destructive consequences of unchecked instinctual drives and unresolved psychological conflicts. Freudian theory emphasizes the role of repression in shaping human behavior, suggesting that the repression of primal urges can lead to psychological distress and neurotic symptoms. Moreover, Freudian psychoanalysis views myths and symbols as expressions of universal human experiences and conflicts. The myth of Pandora's box, with its themes of curiosity, temptation, and the consequences of disobedience, resonates with Freud's theories of psychosexual development and the Oedipus complex, the unconscious desires and conflicts that shape early childhood experiences and adult personality. In addition to Jungian and Freudian interpretations, contemporary psychological theories offer further insights into the symbolism of Pandora's box and its relevance to understanding the complexities of human psychology. Cognitive psychology, 
for example, explores how mental processes such as perception, memory, and reasoning influence our interpretations of symbols and myths. The myth of Pandora's box can be viewed through a cognitive lens as a narrative that engages cognitive processes such as attention, memory retrieval, and emotional response. Furthermore, existential psychology examines the myth's themes of free will, responsibility, and the search for meaning in the face of suffering. Existential psychologists such as Viktor Frankl and Rollo may emphasize the importance of confronting life's challenges with courage and resilience, while also acknowledging the existential angst and uncertainty inherent in the human condition. Across these diverse psychological perspectives, the myth of Pandora's box emerges as a profound exploration of the human psyche, a mirror reflecting our deepest fears, desires, and struggles. It invites us to confront our own shadow selves, to acknowledge the complexities of our unconscious motivations, and to strive for greater self-awareness and psychological integration. In the annals of human thought and understanding, few narratives have resonated as deeply with the study of the human psyche as the ancient myth of Pandora's box. This timeless tale, originating from Greek mythology, has not only captivated imaginations through centuries, but has also left an indelible mark on modern psychology, shaping our understanding of human behavior in profound and multifaceted ways. At its core, the myth of Pandora's box speaks to the perennial themes of curiosity, temptation, and the consequences of our actions. According to legend, Pandora, the first mortal woman created by the gods, was bestowed with a jar containing all manner of afflictions and miseries. Against divine command, her curiosity led her to open the jar, unwittingly unleashing these woes upon humanity. This act of disobedience serves as a cautionary tale, illustrating the delicate balance between knowledge and ignorance and the enduring consequences of our choices. From a psychological standpoint, the myth of Pandora's box has been interpreted through various lenses, each offering unique insights into the complexities of human nature. Sigmund Freud, the founder of psychoanalysis, viewed the myth as a metaphor for the unconscious mind, a reservoir of repressed desires and unresolved conflicts that shape our thoughts, emotions, and behaviors. In Freudian terms, Pandora's act of opening the jar symbolizes the release of unconscious impulses and primal instincts, which can have profound implications for psychological health and well-being. Carl Jung, on the other hand, approached the myth from a Jungian perspective, viewing it as an exploration of archetypes, the universal, symbolic patterns that reside within the collective unconscious. According to Jung, Pandora represents the archetype of the feminine, an embodiment of both nurturing and destructive forces. The jar itself symbolizes the unconscious psyche, containing not only afflictions, but also the potential for self-discovery and spiritual growth. Jungian psychology emphasizes the process of individuation, the integration of unconscious material into conscious awareness as a pathway to personal transformation and psychological wholeness. Beyond its foundational impact on psychoanalytic theory, the myth of Pandora's box has influenced the development of modern psychology in numerous ways. Cognitive psychology, for example, explores how mental processes such as perception, memory, and decision-making contribute to our interpretations of symbols and myths. The myth of Pandora's box engages cognitive processes by evoking emotional responses and challenging cognitive schemas related to curiosity, risk-taking, and moral decision-making. Existential psychology, inspired by existentialist thinkers such as Viktor Frankl and Rollo May, examines the myth's existential themes of freedom, responsibility, and the search for meaning in the face of adversity. The myth of Pandora's box resonates with existentialist notions of human agency and the existential angst that arises from confronting life's uncertainties and challenges. Existential psychologists emphasize the importance of embracing life's inherent struggles with courage and resilience, while also acknowledging the existential dilemmas and moral ambiguities that shape our journey through life. Moreover, the myth of Pandora's box has influenced the field of depth psychology, which explores the unconscious dimensions of human experience through practices such as dream analysis, mythological studies, and symbolic interpretation. Depth psychologists, following in the footsteps of Freud and Jung, examine how myths and symbols reflect deeper truths about the human psyche and offer pathways to psychological healing and self-discovery. 
In the realm of popular culture and literature, the myth of Pandora's box continues to resonate with contemporary audiences, inspiring creative interpretations and reflections on human nature and the human condition. Films, novels, and artworks often draw upon the myth's themes of curiosity, temptation, and moral reckoning to explore universal themes of power, desire, and ethical responsibility. In conclusion, the myth of Pandora's box stands as a testament to the enduring power of storytelling and mythological symbolism in shaping our understanding of human behavior and the complexities of the human psyche. Through its timeless themes and archetypal resonance, the myth invites us to confront our own vulnerabilities and moral dilemmas, while also celebrating our capacity for resilience, empathy, and hope. As we continue to explore its implications for modern psychology and human understanding, we are reminded of the profound impact of myth and symbolism on our collective journey towards self-awareness and psychological growth. In the vast tapestry of human creativity, few myths have captured the imagination and inspired as many interpretations as the ancient tale of Pandora's box. This timeless story from Greek mythology, with its themes of curiosity, consequence, and the power of hope, has transcended centuries to leave an indelible mark on literature, art, and popular culture. From classical antiquity to modern times, the myth of Pandora's box has been depicted in myriad forms, each interpretation reflecting the cultural and artistic sensibilities of its time. In literature, the myth of Pandora's box has served as a fertile ground for writers to explore themes of human curiosity, the consequences of disobedience, and the enduring struggle between good and evil. In classical Greek literature, Poets and playwrights such as Hesiod and Aeschylus portrayed Pandora as a tragic figure whose actions unleashed suffering upon humanity, a cautionary tale that underscored the capricious nature of the gods and the fragility of mortal existence. During the Renaissance, the myth of Pandora's box experienced a revival as scholars and humanists revisited classical texts and sought to reinterpret ancient myths through a lens of humanism and reason. Writers such as Erasmus of Rotterdam and Giovanni Boccaccio explored the moral and philosophical implications of Pandora's story, emphasizing themes of moral ambiguity and the complexities of human nature. In the 19th century, romantic poets and writers embraced the myth of Pandora's box as a metaphor for the struggle between passion and reason, desire and restraint. Poets like Lord Byron and Percy Bysshe Shelley drew upon the myth's themes of temptation and redemption to explore the darker recesses of the human psyche, while novelists such as Mary Shelley and Nathaniel Hawthorne used the myth to critique social norms and challenge prevailing attitudes toward female agency and autonomy. In the realm of visual art, the myth of Pandora's box has inspired countless interpretations, from ancient pottery and sculpture to Renaissance paintings and modern artworks. Artists such as John William Waterhouse and Gustav Klimt depicted Pandora as a luminous yet enigmatic figure, surrounded by symbols of temptation and peril. Their paintings evoke a sense of mystery and introspection, inviting viewers to contemplate the moral and existential dilemmas posed by the myth. In the 20th and 21st centuries, the myth of Pandora's box has continued to resonate in popular culture, influencing films, television shows, and video games. Filmmakers and screenwriters have reimagined Pandora's story to explore themes of power, desire, and the consequences of unchecked ambition. Movies such as Pandora's Box, 1929, and Prometheus, 2012, delve into the myth's themes of forbidden knowledge and the quest for immortality, while animated films and television series present modern adaptations that appeal to younger audiences. In literature, contemporary authors have embraced the myth of Pandora's box as a narrative device to explore themes of identity, agency, and the search for meaning in a chaotic world. Writers such as Margaret Atwood and Neil Gaiman have incorporated elements of Pandora's story into their novels and short stories, offering fresh perspectives on ancient myths and their relevance to contemporary society. Across these diverse mediums and interpretations, the myth of Pandora's box endures as a potent symbol of human curiosity and the complexities of moral choice. It challenges us to confront our own desires and fears, while also celebrating our capacity for resilience, empathy, and hope. 
As we continue to reinterpret and reimagine this ancient tale, we are reminded of the enduring power of myth and storytelling to illuminate universal truths about the human experience. In the realm where myth and art intertwine, few stories have resonated as profoundly as the ancient Greek myth of Pandora's box. This timeless tale, with its themes of curiosity, consequence, and the enduring power of hope, has inspired countless artists and writers across centuries to explore and reinterpret its rich symbolism. Through the lens of literature and art, Pandora's myth continues to captivate imaginations and provoke introspection into the human condition. One notable literary work that has drawn inspiration from the myth of Pandora's box is Nathaniel Hawthorne's short story The Birthmark, published in 1843. Hawthorne, a master of American romanticism, weaves a tale of obsession and hubris that echoes the moral complexities of Pandora's myth. The story revolves around Aylmer, a scientist who becomes fixated on removing a small birthmark from his wife Georgiana's cheek, believing it to symbolize imperfection. In his pursuit of perfection, Aylmer concocts a potion that promises to eradicate the birthmark but ultimately leads to tragic consequences. Hawthorne's narrative explores themes of desire, mortality, and the consequences of tampering with nature, themes that resonate deeply with the moral dilemmas posed by Pandora's ill-fated curiosity. In the realm of visual art, the myth of Pandora's box has been interpreted in various forms, each offering a unique perspective on its timeless themes. One notable example is the painting Pandora by the Pre-Raphaelite artist Dante Gabriel Rossetti, completed in 1871. Rossetti's depiction of Pandora captures her in a moment of contemplation, clutching the infamous jar with a mix of curiosity and trepidation. The painting's vibrant colors and meticulous attention to detail convey a sense of mythic drama, inviting viewers to ponder the moral implications of Pandora's actions and the consequences of unleashing suffering upon the world. Moving into the 20th century, the myth of Pandora's box continued to inspire artists and writers grappling with questions of human nature and ethical responsibility. One notable literary work is Kurt Vonnegut's science fiction novel Cat's Cradle, published in 1963. In this satirical exploration of technology and humanity's capacity for self-destruction, Vonnegut introduces the concept of Ice-9, a substance with the potential to freeze all water on Earth a modern-day Pandora's box that threatens global catastrophe. Through his darkly humorous narrative, Vonnegut raises provocative questions about scientific ethics and the unintended consequences of human innovation, echoing the cautionary themes of Pandora's mythical jar. In the realm of contemporary literature, Margaret Atwood's novel The Handmaid's Tale, published in 1985, offers a dystopian reinterpretation of Pandora's myth within the context of a totalitarian society. Atwood's protagonist, Alfred, navigates a world where women's bodies and reproductive capabilities are tightly controlled by a patriarchal regime, a modern-day manifestation of Pandora's box of societal oppression and gender inequality. Through her powerful narrative, Atwood explores themes of resilience, resistance, and the enduring hope for liberation, an echo of Pandora's fateful act that released both suffering and the promise of redemption. In the realm of popular culture, the myth of Pandora's box has found new life in films, television series, and video games, where its themes of temptation and consequence continue to resonate with contemporary audiences. One notable example is Ridley Scott's science fiction film Prometheus, released in 2012, which explores the origins of humanity and the quest for knowledge in a futuristic setting. Drawing inspiration from the myth of Prometheus, who stole fire from the gods, the film delves into themes of creation, hubris, and the moral ambiguities of scientific exploration, an allegorical journey that mirrors Pandora's ill-fated curiosity and its transformative impact on human civilization. Across these diverse case studies of literary works and artworks inspired by the myth of Pandora's box, one common thread emerges. A fascination with the complexities of human nature and the moral dilemmas inherent in the pursuit of knowledge and power. Through their creative reinterpretations of this ancient myth, writers and artists continue to explore universal themes of curiosity, consequence, and the enduring quest for hope amid adversity. As we reflect on these interpretations, we are reminded of the timeless relevance of Pandora's myth in illuminating the human condition and inviting us to contemplate our own capacity for creation destruction, and redemption. 
In the swirling currents of contemporary discourse, few ancient myths evoke as much resonance and introspection as the tale of Pandora's box. This age-old story from Greek mythology, with its cautionary themes of curiosity, consequence, and the enduring power of hope, continues to echo through modern conversations on ethics, technology, and environmentalism. Its relevance transcends time and culture, offering profound insights into the complexities of human nature and the moral dilemmas we face in a rapidly changing world. In the realm of ethics, the myth of Pandora's box serves as a poignant allegory for the ethical challenges posed by technological advancement and scientific discovery. Just as Pandora's curiosity led her to open the forbidden jar, unveiling both blessings and curses upon humanity, so too do contemporary ethical debates grapple with the unintended consequences of innovation. From genetic engineering to artificial intelligence, the quest for knowledge and progress often raises ethical questions about responsibility, accountability, and the potential risks of unforeseen outcomes. Pandora's myth reminds us of the importance of thoughtful deliberation and ethical foresight in navigating the complexities of modern science and technology. In the realm of technology, the myth of Pandora's box resonates with ongoing discussions about the impact of digital advancements on society and individual lives. The proliferation of information and connectivity has opened new avenues for communication and innovation, yet it also raises concerns about privacy, cybersecurity, and the ethical use of data. Like Pandora's ill-fated curiosity, the digital age presents both opportunities and challenges, inviting us to consider the implications of our actions and decisions in a world where boundaries between public and private spheres are increasingly blurred. In the realm of environmentalism, the myth of Pandora's box offers a poignant reflection on humanity's relationship with the natural world and the consequences of our collective actions. Just as Pandora's opening of the jar unleashed environmental degradation and ecological imbalance, so too do contemporary environmental challenges underscore the interconnectedness of human activities and planetary health. Climate change, deforestation, and biodiversity loss are among the pressing issues that demand global cooperation and ethical stewardship of natural resources. Pandora's myth serves as a reminder of the delicate balance between human development and environmental sustainability, urging us to consider the long-term consequences of our choices for future generations. Across these diverse realms of contemporary discourse, the myth of Pandora's box invites us to reflect on timeless themes of curiosity, responsibility, and resilience in the face of adversity. It challenges us to confront the complexities of human nature and the moral ambiguities inherent in our pursuit of knowledge, progress, and collective well-being. As we navigate the challenges of the 21st century, Pandora's myth reminds us of the enduring power of hope and the transformative potential of ethical decision-making in shaping a more just, sustainable, and compassionate world. In the vast expanse of human thought and cultural expression, few myths have endured as steadfastly and profoundly as the ancient tale of Pandora's box. This timeless narrative, originating from Greek mythology, continues to exert a profound influence on contemporary thought, art, and culture, resonating across generations with its themes of curiosity, consequence, and the enduring power of hope. From its mythical origins to its myriad interpretations in literature, art, and popular culture, the myth of Pandora's box captivates the imagination and challenges our understanding of human nature. At its core, the myth revolves around Pandora, the first mortal woman created by the gods, entrusted with a mysterious jar containing all manner of afflictions and miseries. Against divine command, Pandora's curiosity compels her to open the jar, unwittingly unleashing suffering and hardship upon humanity. Yet, amidst the darkness, one element remains, hope, a fragile but essential force that offers solace and resilience in the face of adversity. In contemporary thought, the myth of Pandora's box serves as a potent allegory for the complexities of human curiosity and the moral dilemmas inherent in the pursuit of knowledge and progress. In a world shaped by rapid technological advancement and scientific discovery, the myth challenges us to consider the ethical implications of our actions and decisions. It prompts us to reflect on the unforeseen consequences of innovation, urging us to exercise caution and foresight in harnessing the transformative power of technology for the betterment of society. 
Moreover, the myth of Pandora's box continues to influence contemporary discussions on environmentalism and sustainability. Just as Pandora's opening of the jar unleashed environmental degradation and ecological imbalance, so too do modern-day environmental challenges underscore the interconnectedness of human activities and planetary health. Climate change, biodiversity loss, and resource depletion are among the pressing issues that demand global cooperation and ethical stewardship of natural resources. The myth reminds us of the delicate balance between human development and environmental sustainability, urging us to consider the long-term consequences of our choices for future generations. In the realm of popular culture, the myth of Pandora's box has found new expression in films, television series, and literature, where its themes of temptation and consequence continue to resonate with contemporary audiences. Films such as Prometheus, 2012, and The Box, 2009, explore the myth's themes of forbidden knowledge and the hubris of human ambition, inviting viewers to contemplate the moral implications of scientific exploration and technological innovation. In literature, authors such as Margaret Atwood and Neil Gaiman have reimagined Pandora's story to explore themes of agency, resilience, and the quest for redemption in a world fraught with uncertainty and moral ambiguity. Across these diverse mediums and interpretations, the myth of Pandora's box endures as a timeless symbol of human curiosity and the complexities of moral choice. It challenges us to confront our own desires and fears, while also celebrating our capacity for resilience, empathy, and hope. As we continue to reinterpret and reimagine this ancient tale, we are reminded of the enduring power of myth and storytelling to illuminate universal truths about the human experience. In the vast tapestry of human storytelling, few myths resonate as deeply and universally as the ancient tale of Pandora's box. This timeless narrative, rooted in Greek mythology, traverses centuries and cultures, offering profound insights into the complexities of human nature and the enduring power of hope amidst adversity. At its heart, the myth of Pandora's box unfolds with the creation of Pandora, the first mortal woman fashioned by the gods. Endowed with beauty and curiosity, Pandora is bestowed a jar, often mistranslated as a box, containing all the afflictions and miseries that could plague humanity. Against divine instruction, her curiosity compels her to open the vessel, unwittingly releasing suffering and sorrow into the world. Yet, amid the chaos, one force remains trapped within the jar, hope, a fragile yet resilient essence that offers solace and resilience to humanity in its darkest hours. Throughout history, the myth of Pandora's box has been interpreted and reinterpreted across diverse cultural and philosophical landscapes. In ancient Greece, the myth served as a cautionary tale about the consequences of disobedience and the capricious nature of the gods. Poets and playwrights like Hesiod and Aeschylus explored themes of divine punishment and mortal folly, portraying Pandora as a tragic figure whose actions unleashed unforeseen repercussions upon the world. In the Renaissance era, scholars and humanists revisited classical texts and myths, seeking to reconcile ancient wisdom with the emerging ideals of reason and humanism. Writers such as Erasmus and Boccaccio contemplated Pandora's story through a lens of moral ambiguity and philosophical inquiry, highlighting the inherent tensions between human curiosity and ethical responsibility. During the Romantic period, Poets and artists drew inspiration from Pandora's myth to explore themes of passion, desire, and the existential struggle against fate. Writers like Mary Shelley and Nathaniel Hawthorne infused the myth with psychological depth and introspection, using Pandora as a symbol of defiance against societal norms and the quest for personal autonomy. In the 20th and 21st centuries, Pandora's myth continued to resonate in literature, art, and popular culture, reflecting contemporary anxieties and aspirations. Authors and filmmakers reimagined Pandora's story to address themes of technological innovation, environmental sustainability, and the ethical dilemmas of scientific discovery. Films like Prometheus and novels such as Margaret Atwood's The Handmaid's Tale offered dystopian interpretations of Pandora's myth, challenging audiences to confront the consequences of unchecked ambition and societal control. Across these diverse interpretations, several key insights emerge from the exploration of Pandora's box. 
Firstly, the myth invites us to reflect on the enduring power of human curiosity and the moral dilemmas inherent in the pursuit of knowledge and progress. Pandora's ill-fated decision to open the jar serves as a cautionary tale about the unforeseen consequences of our actions and the importance of ethical foresight in navigating complex moral landscapes. Secondly, Pandora's myth underscores the resilience of the human spirit in the face of adversity. Despite unleashing suffering into the world, Pandora's jar also contains hope, a transcendent force that sustains humanity's courage and optimism in times of despair. This dualistic nature of Pandora's vessel serves as a poignant reminder of the inherent complexities of human existence and our capacity for both creation and destruction. Lastly, Pandora's myth challenges us to consider the transformative power of storytelling and mythmaking in shaping collective consciousness and cultural identity. Across millennia, storytellers and artists have revisited Pandora's tale to explore universal truths about human nature, morality, and the enduring quest for meaning and redemption. Through their creative reinterpretations, they invite us to contemplate our own roles as custodians of wisdom and stewards of collective memory, ensuring that the lessons of Pandora's myth continue to resonate and inspire future generations. In essence, the exploration of Pandora's box offers a profound journey into the depths of human experience and imagination. It reminds us of the timeless relevance of myth and storytelling in illuminating universal truths about the human condition. As we navigate the complexities of the modern world, Pandora's myth serves as a beacon of wisdom and hope, a testament to the enduring power of curiosity, resilience, and the transformative potential of human creativity. In the vast tapestry of human storytelling, there exists a myth that has captivated hearts and minds across millennia, a tale that transcends time and culture to illuminate profound truths about the human condition. This myth, rooted in ancient Greek lore, speaks to our deepest fears, aspirations, and struggles. It is the myth of Pandora's box. At its essence, the myth unfolds with the creation of Pandora, the first mortal woman crafted by the gods. Endowed with beauty and curiosity, Pandora is entrusted with a jar containing all the afflictions and miseries that could plague humanity. Against divine command, her curiosity compels her to open the jar, unleashing a torrent of suffering and sorrow upon the world. Yet, amid the chaos, one force remains trapped within the jar, hope, a fragile yet enduring essence that offers solace and resilience to humanity in its darkest hours. The enduring appeal of Pandora's box lies in its ability to resonate with the complexities of human nature and the moral dilemmas we face in our quest for understanding and meaning. It speaks to our innate curiosity and the consequences of our actions, reminding us of the delicate balance between knowledge and ignorance, creation and destruction. Through Pandora's myth, we confront the timeless questions of free will and fate, agency and responsibility in a narrative that transcends its ancient origins to speak to contemporary audiences. Throughout history, Pandora's myth has been reinterpreted and reimagined by poets, playwrights, philosophers, and artists alike. In ancient Greece, the myth served as a cautionary tale about the consequences of disobedience and the capricious nature of the gods. It invited reflection on the moral complexities of human existence and the challenges of navigating a world fraught with uncertainty and adversity. During the Renaissance, scholars and humanists revisited Pandora's story, seeking to reconcile classical wisdom with the emerging ideals of reason and humanism. They contemplated the myth's themes of curiosity and consequence, exploring the tensions between divine authority and human autonomy in a changing world. In the Romantic era, Poets and artists drew inspiration from Pandora's myth to explore themes of passion, desire, and the existential struggle against fate. They portrayed Pandora as a symbol of defiance against societal norms and the quest for personal freedom and authenticity. In the 20th and 21st centuries, Pandora's myth continued to resonate in literature, art, and popular culture, reflecting contemporary anxieties and aspirations. Writers and filmmakers reimagined Pandora's story to address themes of technological innovation, environmental sustainability, and the ethical dilemmas of scientific discovery. They challenged audiences to confront the consequences of unchecked ambition and societal control, offering dystopian visions of a world shaped by human curiosity and the pursuit of progress. At its core, 
The enduring appeal of Pandora's box lies in its profound exploration of hope amidst adversity. Despite Pandora's unwitting role in releasing suffering into the world, her jar also contained hope, a transcendent force that sustains humanity's courage and optimism in times of despair. This dualistic nature of Pandora's vessel serves as a poignant reminder of the inherent complexities of human existence and our capacity for both creation and destruction. In essence, Pandora's myth invites us to reflect on the enduring appeal and relevance of hope in understanding the human condition. It challenges us to confront our fears and uncertainties with courage and resilience, knowing that even in our darkest moments, hope remains a guiding light. As we navigate the complexities of the modern world, Pandora's myth serves as a timeless testament to the power of storytelling and myth-making in illuminating universal truths about human nature, morality, and the enduring quest for meaning and redemption.